These people are so evil and fucked up and they have to die. You see the inside of her mouth? Why? 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 Do you really hate me that bad? Where's the cop to shoot her? <laughs> do you Come really, on, man. Do you really hate me that bad? Um, yes. Yeah. It was... The classic one was the the original. Uh, oh, yeah. The original uh, 2016. Does he say in the. Hold on, does he, hold on. Hold on. Can I see what he talks about with football here? We got to hear his calls. I, I keep. Yeah, cool. Madden. The... Wait, are you? <laughs> I'm ready to get beat. I All think. right. Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Let's do Isn't this. Is he a thing. coach? Oh no. All right. Good quarterback. You got a Let's good quarterback. See. He is. He is a good quarterback. First turn of the game for James. <laughs> That's what she nice. sounds like casually talking. I tried. I tried. See, you're a pro though, so you can you yeah. can call these audibles. Well, I, I think I know what these guys are doing, but I don't know which damn button to push to make my guy be a beast. And I keep going back to this. This is Project 2025 from Personal Freedoms. I think a lot of the folks on here are are kind of independent folks, independent thinkers about things. He Why can't would you want it. the government telling you what books to read or what doctor to see? Or Is what? he talking about the books that the Nazis burned? You remember those? <laughs> they were interesting. I think he's talking about the Madden community. <laughs> he was talking about how to have gay sex for kids. <laughs> Trying to fuck Chinese <laughs> students. Um, but the classic one was the, uh, 2016 girl scream. It's weird how little charisma they have. This yeah, was the classic. I just can't believe that. Like, what are the odds that there's like no one in the room that's just cooler to talk to? Right. I don't know how they choose the people they run. I, I, think, they like, I think they, I think the fear that they get paralyzed with, um, uh, with fear. It's like, uh, not option paralysis. It's like sort of the inverse where every every option has like a sort of a danger to it so you end up going with the person who has the least of anything they're the they are the least offensive but they're also they have the least amount of personality or convictions or whatever and they're just at the end of the day it's like whoever is the um um the most sort of usable face for mm -hmm. whoever is actually running this uh machine how do they make such bad decisions after doing this for so many years well, they're, the, the other thing is they're, they're, they're like, it's like um, <clears throat> mixed race young women and gay guys who are running this shit. Like the people, mm -hmm. the team, the team behind the campaign, it's not, it's not like the Monopoly guy or some like CIA. It's well, just the, the people running this direct, the people directly above them, they're like yeah. college brainwashed, mixed race, gay guys, women, just people who are not. So it's a human resources department. It's the hiring. Yeah. You know what there's a similarity between is the, do you remember the poli-sci majors when, in our generation from college? Yep. The poli-sci as a major movement has come and gone. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of like, sort of like get nothing done, really good at debating, mm -hmm. really good at getting shit done. Mm -hmm. Gar garbage. It's Gar a profession getting, of making excuses for things not moving. And yeah. poli-sci is like, I've become a master of the art of, of this just political fucking yeah. forum. Bamboozlement. Being yeah, being very comfortable with saying a lot and doing nothing about it. Mm -hmm. More along with like posturing yourself, keeping optics wide open, and then sort of doing nothing about it and then with no accountability. Pointing the finger mm -hmm. at the other side that's running the same shit. During COVID, I, there was a weird major um, in the finance, the administration, the finance and, and commerce, the heads up of commerce for, owned by, run by the state. The state appointed jobs in commerce and uh during COVID are all uh, supply chain management graduates. Mm -hmm. That's a new major that's hot topic. Well, mm -hmm. That one's never ever, did you ever hear supply chain management growing up? No. Never heard it once. Sold mad cars to, to supply chain managers. My mm -hmm. first big car was a guy, Banneker Industries. He was a supply chain guy, he was my age though. He played mm -hmm. football with my friend. And I was like, oh, supply chain, that's so crazy. And then you come to, uh, yes. And then, uh, thank you so much. Then you figure out that COVID was like a master of like, if I was ever running the show here, let me flex my supply chain manager muscles from college. Mm -hmm. Poli sci, kind of like this is sort of the effect of what's going on there. Mm -hmm. You know, where I, obviously it starts in the colleges, right? The, the whatever, the takedown starts there. But those majors that don't mean shit. Yeah. And a lot of those people, they're, they spend a lot of time thinking about um, how I could do better if I was running the show. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like hypothetical, mm. and, and uh, 
thought experiments. The criteria for running the show should be that you've run, you've successfully run the show before. Like you created something that sold units or you ran a business or whatever. And now the criteria for running the show is do you have a, this degree? Do you have X degree? Do you have- And a resume to follow. Classification, resume, uh, years mm -hmm. of whatever. My name's Sam. I went, and it goes the same thing mm -hmm. for marketing. We got bamboozled. You we, know what I heard that's interesting? Do um, you know what the, have you ever heard of the Peter Principle? No. It's like the penis principle. The Peter Principle mm. is uh, you, you people, people are promoted to their level of incompetence. So if you have somebody who's a good, uh, who's good shop cleanup guy, he gets promoted to mechanic. If you have a guy that's a good mechanic, he gets promoted to shop foreman. If you've got, that's got a, a good shop foreman, he gets prom promoted to oversee all the service bays in the region or whatever. And he keeps getting promoted and promoted and promoted until he can't, until he's no longer good. And then he just sits there. Yeah. So it's like, 100%. Even though we're taking people who are good at these low level things and uplifting them, we're, we're moving them into positions where they're out of their depth and out of their ability to, to do stuff. And then they just sit there. And that's why everything's so dysfunctional and people suck at everything. Middle management, mm. most that, that make, it clicked right away for mm -hmm. Penske. Yeah, like you, see, my boss is like, he thought he was like Batman or mm. Iron Man. He's like this. I'm fucking genius. And Hell like, yeah! You're you're keeping your eyes on nine metrics that mm -hmm. are dead in front of you. Mm -hmm. You are sitting in front of a a fucking tachometer. Mm -hmm. Anybody can do any. You're not doing any analytical data. Mm -hmm. You're not drawing lines, making that. You're just at the top, mm -hmm. and you're nothing special, my man. You're just good at showing up. He thinks he's in front of those like stock trading screens with like 16 of them. Yeah. 3.5%, 456, 456. Now, time Singapore, Singapore, three hours. Nothing's happening like that. Yeah. Like, no, you're doing nothing. You know, like, and um, Penske was uh, the, very good at that. They would mm -hmm. like get exactly what you're saying, get yeah. you right to here. Here you go, minion. Mm -hmm. Run three stores for the price of one. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you the Ford store. Mm hmm. Why <laughs> do I get two general man say general managers' salaries? No, one. <laughs> you're a manager. How does that happen? Because you're the manager now. I see. Chuck, mm. you're managing it. I'm, you're the manager. I'm management now, so. And I, they know that they're like, you run the show. Mm -hmm. And they're like, more money? No, you run the show. Mm -hmm. You take whatever you want that we say no. <laughs> you know, you actually get paid less, but Le you run the show. You, you're the top of your that. name is on the dealership. Top of that, right below me. I can see the top of your head. <laughs> yeah, eighty hours a week, man. <laughs> yeah, management. Drive yourself crazy. Build our business big. Build mm. a big business inside our. And business. then get the fuck out. And then make one misstep. Say anything wrong, you're fired and you're fucking ruined. But first, build me a big, big business. Make a, make a lot. <laughs> we bought this business for half. Now you make it five times bigger. You work hard. You run the show, fag. Uh, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Scott. Yeah, Scott. <laughs> but uh, it, it's really, really fun. And is that is that a predatory thing from uh, free market capitalism? No, it's just it's if you see somebody doing a good job, the tendency is to give them more responsibility, mm -hmm. right? Like you, you're doing so good at this low level. Let me let me boost you up. Mm -hmm. And if you're the if you're a worker. You're doing a really good job. Of course, you want to get promoted, right? Yeah. But it's just, it just, it's just. It, once you reach that level where you're out of your depth and you can't do the job anymore, that's when you stop getting promoted and you just don't get fired. That's why they hate guys like me at the dealership. They're like, "You want to be a manager?" I'm like, "Nah." <laughs> oh, and you're marked for death if you if you refuse promotion. Pretty yeah. much. In the, oh yeah. It, yeah, like it's over for you. Mm. Yeah, like, they hate that. Yeah. Mm. Go take a bad job across the way. Mm. It's really funny, but middle managers ruin because it's just like I don't want to get fired. Whatever I can do not to get fired and keep this job that I don't deserve. Mm -hmm. Keep this income that I don't deserve. Please don't fire me. Mm. Move the needle 3%, 5%, 6%, 6% the, the, and ripples, and then they back off. So nothing really moves, mm -hmm. Hmm. even if it's fundamentally a sinking ship. Yeah. Or it's outdated itself. But middle management, is, it's kind of one of those things, man. It's, I think it gets to like popular degrees of, of the time. And I would like to know what the popular... Just, just strange how it hasn't been solved. I mean, there's such big minds and big things involved in these huge corporations. You're telling me people aren't thinking about this? They're just, right. just like, speculating? Yeah. It's, it's very... It's like DMV bottlenecks. I only assume that they're there in place for just intentionally. I mean, I, but it could be just raw incompetence. But aren't there oh, qualified that's... people that are in every business? 
at it's some not, level. I in, guess not. I mean, I guess I guess the answer. No, you, is no, it's true though. If you're public or if you're state, state or publicly traded, 